Why should be red? Why should be rain? Hi everyone, it's me, Nora Minas Umi, and today's video I want to share to you guys about five things that you can do if you are missing your train in Johor Bahru Central to Kuala Lumpur. Okay, so today I am speaking English. It is not because I'm so some English, but I hope this story is useful for you guys who not only Indonesian people, but also from another country who can't speak Indonesian. And I'm sorry to you guys if I do a lot of mistake, my pronunciation maybe or my grammar. But let's get just started. So these tips for only you guys who miss your train which is train from Johor Baru Central to Kuala Lumpur the last train at 11 p.m. and when you can late or maybe the same case with me you don't know you don't know what to do so I I share to you guys what I do and maybe you might know that after 11 p.m. the JB Central building the whole building the JB City Square already closed all of shopping malls uh, include the Surau I mean the small mosque already closed so you can't go anywhere so here I am five things that you can do First thing is, you can definitely book hotel nearest JB Central. I mean like, if you are having extra money, if you are a rich person, you can book hotel nearest JB Central. But when I've been there, I'm not booked because I'm on my budget. Backpacker. Yeah. The number two, you can using taxi, taxi or grab maybe, but I never use grab in the midnight in Malaysia. But if you are using taxi, maybe you will be charged more expensive. I think better you book your hotel than order taxi because the price is quite same maybe and you just can sleeping in your hotel. Taxi in the midnight in Malaysia uh, is not secure. Yes. And so expensive tips number three you just can sleep like gambel in the whole that building so if you are on budget and you don't have extra money you just can sleep in that building but there is so one place that you can sleep in the waiting room of train KTMB Kereta Pi Melayu Berhad You cannot sleep in that area because the PDRM Police di Raja Melayu The police will kick you out It's like same case with me Yeah, after midnight that area will be cleaned up So you definitely cannot sleep in that waiting room from experience, you can sleep in the first floor beside the road near the taxi, near the 7 Eleven, also, and you just can sleep on the floor like me. So, if you are with your friend, the tip is one of you guys have to wake up and one of you have to sleep, but this is not safety enough because you never know what will happen if you are asleep. When you are asleep, maybe some people or gangster take all of your stuff and you will be kidnapped and you will go to Thailand and you will be the one of the human trafficking Kenapa harus Thailand? Ya kan yang banyak penjualan orang kan banyak ke Thailand kalau dari Malaysia So there is a lot of case human trafficking in Malaysia that will sell to Thailand because Thailand needs a lot of uh, you know, human, body. human body human important body I mean you know So that place is not safety enough and I was warned by a tattoo guy, actually a tattoo hero. He was warned us twice because the first one I was ignore him. I think he just want to some attention. But the second one from him, I start to think that maybe he is right. That place is not safety enough. It's about 3 a.m. Yeah, 3 a.m. in Malaysia is still midnight because subuh in Malaysia is 6 a.m. So in 3 a.m. still so quiet and he said to me that you have not sleep in here because this place is not safe especially for two women like you and your friends so he bring us to another place in that building the best place that you can spend your time this is the best place the last one but I want to tell you about the fourth place Tips number four, you can eat in KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, because the nearest from the waiting room of the train, there is a KFC that open till midnight, 2 a.m. if I'm not mistaken, because when I go around that building at 2 a.m., I saw that KFC still serving meal, so you can have meals there. Number five. Okay, rain is gone. The last tip. So continue from that story. Tattoo hero. He bring us to 
best place in Malaysia is Mamak's Corner. Mamak's Corner is a budget restaurant, chilling place, is a heaven. Is a, you just can do it anything. So Mamak's Corner is the best place to spend your time in cheap price and good taste of food. So the tattoo hero is bring us to Mamak's Corner, which is there. We are so thankful to that tattoo guy. Hello tattoo guy, if you are watching my video, we want to thank you to you because you so kind to us. You are so nice to us. And from that Mamak's Corner, you can order teh tarik, teh o i, teh o suan, teh o limau ice, teh o limau suan, coffee, uh, nasi goreng pattaya, or whatever it is. And in that place, we met uh, some people that having transit and some people that sleep. They waiting the next train and the next bus. So that place is very good. Mamak's Corner in Malaysia, they usually use to chilling, dating, watching football, eat communion. We met uh, some people that time to us that, that nice. One of them is a mom and she borrowing me power bank charging to my phone and we are just chilling out talking anything talking about Indonesia, talking about Malaysia, Singapore and some of them is working in Singapore and Malaysia. Some of them also help us to the next destination is Kuala Lumpur. They giving us some tips. They just nice. Well, I think it is enough for 5 things that you can do if you are miss your train or you are miss your bus or you are stuck in JD Central, Johor Bahru Central. I hope this video is useful to you guys and I'm sorry if I did many wrong pronunciation, grammar or anything. Also, you just can subscribe, like, share and comment down below about your experience when you are stuck in JB Central. I'm trying my best for speaking English actually. Okay, bye. 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 The next video I will be speaking Indonesia. Okay. Bye.